everyone welcome to our channel drone fluence i am sahitya drone fluence is an initiative from national skills network to bring you various perspectives view points and updates on the emerging drone industry in india so in the series of conversations we are organizing with various stakeholders in this domain today we have with us mr abhilash who is a drone instructor at maruk drones so let's hear from him about his experience of becoming a drone instructor what the role of a typical drone instructor looks like what it takes to be an instructor and about drone pilot training in general so without much delay let's go ahead but before we do i request you all to please subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any interesting videos from us in the future Hi Abhilash welcome to this conversation on drone fluence we are very happy to be talking to you today we look forward to learn from you about the role of a drone instructor what a typical day in the role of a drone instructor looks like and more about the career opportunities that are coming up in this sector and more so why don't you start by telling us a little bit about yourself your educational background and how you got interested in drones and Sure, and thank you for your opportunity, and thank you for your valuable time for the introduction. And good evening, everyone. My myself Abhilash. I done my I done graduation in aeronautical engineering at SJS AT Bangalore. After that, my engineering, I choose in the my field is like kind of it aeronautical engineering in the sense of manned aircraft and all. drones in the sense of unmanned aircraft both are in the same field i used to be in a my field my career my specialization field i choose drone as a my future career and during my college days itself uh, we are used to make a, a drones uh, a 450 and fixed wing drones we used to make a drones and flying and all in the college days itself uh, you know, with a seniors and all we made a one drone that drone used to uh, fly at uh, some uh, five, just 500 meters to go and cut the areca nuts and all coconut coconut mm-hmm. and all okay. uh, then after my after the graduation i started in uh, my av pilot uh, or drone pilot in multiplex drones private limited uh, is there at bangalore uh, after my uh some days seven i worked in seven months in multiplex zones private limited then i understand the uh, value of rpc rpc in the sense of remote pilot certificate as mm-hmm. clearly mentioned and uh, the central government clearly stated that if you want to fly a drone you must need an rpc remote pilot certificate if you don't have an rpc if you fly a drone there is in some exemption categories mm-hmm. You need to register, or else you need an RPC. There are three categories, three okay. subcategories, five classifications in Indian mm-hmm. standards. Okay. Three categories in the sense of aeroplane, rotor craft, mm-hmm. and hybrid vehicle. Mm-hmm. And subcategory, a remote pilot, remote pilot aircraft certificate, uh, remotely piloted aircraft system, and model remotely piloted aircraft system, and autonomous uh, unmanned aircraft system. in that uh in a sense of rem- model remotely piloted aircraft system means if any drone we are making research recreation r and d development mm. in that drone all of weight in the sense of including all the payloads like battery a pay, uh if we add in a cam- camera or any tank additional weight payload in a sense of additional weight what mm. we are adding to drone Yeah, yeah. All of it is not uh, less. Uh, if all of it is less than twenty five kgs, we consider as a model remotely piloted uh, model rem- uh, remotely air, uh, aircraft system. In that, uh, there are exemptions. If though that don't start using for a research development uh, recreation, we don't need to get an uh, RPC for that. And also, we don't need any uh, RPC nano category and uh, micro category. Nano okay. category in the sense of all of it is less than two fifty two fifty grams. Uh, micro category in the sense my micro category two fifty grams to two kg. Less mm-hmm. than or equals to two kg. 
and small category 2 kg uh, 2 kg to 25 kg medium category is 25 kg to 150 kg L large category is more than 150 kg mm -hmm. so out of these five categories which categories do not need a pilot license you said nano and micro okay okay all others nano all others you need the certification in micro if we commercial if the drone is flying for a commercial we need a certificate hmm. flying flying certificate license wherever we'll see that uh, license word then uh, replace the word in the place of license as a certificate okay okay now we are not call, calling as a certificate uh, license we are calling as a certificate so where did you get your uh, certification from where did you do your training apart from your college exposure that you got uh, I had an RPC. I had done my RPC training in the drone destination, Ariana. Okay. And after the uh, RPC, I had done my RPI in the sense of TTT. Uh, like uh, if you want to become an instructor, official DGCA certified instructor. Hmm. The Director General of Civil Aviation, they go into, uh, under, we have to undergo train the train is, uh, Find that training TTT course. In that, if if you are eligible, if are uh, successfully completed the train that training course, then uh, there is an uh, viva with uh, DGCA people. I I mean to say that uh, mm -hmm. director uh, di deputy director in DGCA. There are twenty nine uh, members in that group. DC approved 29 uh, uh, instructors there in New Delhi. They are going to be, they are going to ask the questions. Mm. Final final test. After successfully completing R, uh, that VIVA, you are a certified, DC a certified RPI in the sense of remote pilot instructor. Okay. Then your name sh uh, should be enlisted in Digital Sky. And I completed the uh, TTT, RP and everything. Uh, mm. uh, I had a Viva with DGCA. Okay. I'm waiting for an uh, appointment. Okay. So what and, is the duration uh, of this whole process of uh, being a DGCA certified uh, instruct drone instructor? If you want to become an RPA instructor, DGCA certified RPA instructor, mm -hmm. there are some norms. Mm -hmm. uh, is course is duration seven days. Mm -hmm. Four days uh, four days ground class, three days uh, flying class. In the mm -hmm. sense of ground class, they're going to teach about the basics. And uh, in, in the sense of uh, ICAO, International Civil Aviation Rules with respect to uh, uh, remote pilot aircraft systems. And stakeholders, laws, rules and regulations, air, air traffic control, mm -hmm. air procedure, um, basic uh, fundamentals of uh, aeroplane, fundamentals of rotor craft, uh, data analysis, fail safe, safety features. Lot mm -hmm. of they are going to teach. Then the flying session mm -hmm. and theory test, oral test, and there is skill test. There are mm -hmm. so many tests we need to undergo in that. And if you successfully done everything, you will become an a, a DGCA certified instructor. And okay. final interview with director, uh, DD director, uh, deputy director at the D, uh, DGCA headquarters, New Delhi. Mm -hmm. So it's not a very easy process. Uh, if you get trained or you become an instructor, it's not as easy as that. I would say. Yes, I told you that uh, before that I mentioned in uh, India. There has only 392 DSA approved instructor okay. as of now. So how tough or how difficult is this job? Or is it easy because you are interested in drones? Or how is it the role of a drone pilot instructor? Mom, everybody has curious about the drones. Okay. Yeah, it's like, uh, that's the beauty of drones. Mm -hmm. If we see that drone itself, we will get attracted. Yeah. And uh, still, uh, we are waiting to get more the RPC uh, holders. We, we need and must. India requests 
as government says that India requires eight lakh RPC holders. Hmm. Still, we had an uh, roughly around two thousand six hundred. Hmm. So, uh, I understand this drone pilot. Uh, training is one on one. It's not like instructor is giving training to forty people at once or thirty people at once. Yeah. So how is it different from other training programs? Because this is one on one. What care do you take take in training your uh, training? In drone. Um, uh, if organization approved by the uh, the director general from DGCA, hmm. there are some. Uh, Process. We need to submit TPM mm -hmm. signing procedure manual. Okay. Uh, I told you before that DTC one, DTC two, DTT, DTC two, DTC three. DTC one clearly mentioned how to start in remote pilot signing organization. Mm -hmm. DTT, uh, DTC two, uh, that syllabus and all. DTC. A drone training circular three scissors TPM. How to make a TPM uh, training procedure manual? In that basis, we have to prepare one uh, training procedure manual. That training procedure manual we need to submit to DGCA. They then uh, after getting approval, <laughs> sorry, same TPM we are going to teach in a curriculum. Okay. In RPTO. Mm -hmm. uh every year uh, every organization has added with a dca and they used to come and check each and every procedure we are following our tpm or not everything the basic course is a uh, five days course okay three days ground class and two days flying class mm -hmm. and category one basic rpc training is five days Okay, so this basic training will include how to fly a drone, but not for the specific industry, right? Like for agriculture or photography. It's but ah, basic there, there drone are, pilot training. There are many RPTOs that are teaching in specialized uh, okay. course. I am from uh, even before that. Uh, I'm a very pilot in agriculture, agriculture pilot, okay. agriculture drone pilot. I flown in that fifty eight kgs hybrid VTOL. Okay. Medium category, but uh, no way in India, no any RPTO, they are not certified category. Uh, medium category training RPTO. Mm -hmm. They are only teaching small category, category one basic. Okay. And uh, before we used that IT is a best industry. Uh, if you enter into IT industry, you are settled, your life is settled, you are happy, mm. such kind of it. I am sure uh, if you enter into drone industry, your life is life will settle <laughs> in future. Okay. Yeah, I understand because it, drone is one of the uh, emerging sectors, industry sectors in India. And like you said, the government is also looking to train uh, many lakhs of uh, drone pilots in the coming years and also wants to become one of the skill hub or training hub for uh, drone training in the world. So Abhilash, yes. I understand you enjoy your work and you're very happy to be a drone instructor. So what would you suggest for people like um, who are interested in drone pilot training or who want to become a drone instructor? What would you suggest them? Mama... I can say you in a 200% guarantee, there is many jobs in this industry mm -hmm. and many applications in the industry. Okay. If I can say you, uh, there many, I can't even count that applications. If I look at uh, agriculture, we need mm -hmm. a drone for spraying, mm -hmm. uh, crop monitoring, crop, um, uh, crop field man monitoring and mining, mm -hmm. cinematography, Photography and aerial mapping, uh, my, mining, and you can uh, uh, inspection, pipeline inspection. A uh, lot of industries we are using uh, drones. Lot of applications are uh, coming in the industry. 
in uh, our field we are uh, taking there are a lot of openings opportunities in our industry hmm. you who are interested uh, check your uh, skills your specialized specific specialization go for the rpc training and hmm. if you want to instruct us first you need to get an rpc then go for the rpa and uh, like uh, you need some experience in that industry skill training skill with uh who are, who are want to who are interested come to our industry please come and join okay so uh, if you could give us like five steps or 10 steps in how a person can become a drone uh, instructor what would those steps be how how can he or she go about becoming a drone instructor mamma uh, in uh, drone rules 2021 they clearly mention if you want to become an rpc the basic requirement is if you are the 10th pass student enough hmm basic they clearly mention 10th is enough and ev- we all got i mean we all cleared our add in uh, 10th class 10th certificate hmm. and minimum 18 years age hmm maximum 65 years age mm. and they need to undergo a uh, training with recognized rpto remote mm. pilot training organization and then they can be an uh, rpc holder okay a uh, thing is if you have an rpc that's a best advantage okay it's like uh, you you mentioned clearly you mentioned five steps forward mm. okay then you can start your career anyways raven lies uh, we are not calling as a license hmm rpc certificate okay then you are eligible to fly in category 1 up to 1 120 meters or hmm. 400 feet hmm. vlos visual line of sight in the sense of a uh, 1 km range that's it hmm. you are eligible to fly green zones a visual line up site up to 1 km and altitude it is 120 meters or 400 feet that's it you are not uh, eligible to go behind 1 km in visual line of sight there is no any permission to go for an uh, uh, after 120 meters i clearly mention you is basic one mm. in special one you are you are eligible to fly uh, all the zones in india we divided three zones red zone yellow L- zone yellow L- L- zone there are two types yellow inner and yellow outer mm-hmm. and green zone visual line of sight in the sense of the uh, entire operation hmm entire operation it will be visible to us okay uh if any rpc holder pilot flying uh, they they must must have an copilot hmm a uh, pilot and copilot if they are visible they can be visible up to uh 1 1 km they are certified 1 km to fly that's it yeah so thank you abhilash for sharing lot of information with us today that was very informative not all of us are aware of so many zones or what it takes to be a drone uh, instructor so thank you so much for joining us today in this conversation i hope many find it useful and also aspire to be a drone instructor like you thank you thank you thank you so much thank you for the valuable time thank you and thank you so much <laughs>